I'm trying out some new stuff. I got a uh, Yak Attack Panfish mount, um, a Ram Ball mount, a Ram Tube extension. Um, these are kind of hard to find, but uh, I did find a place that was still selling them on uh, Amazon. And I uh, picked up a Mighty Mount 2, just trying to play around with some ideas with it. Um, so this is my Hobie Compass. I believe it's a 2019. Um, so one year after they uh, came out, this was the uh, slightly updated one. Um, on the brand new ones, you know, you get a different drive, but you also have the rod holders, I believe, moved up a little bit. Um, so I kind of have this area right here behind the seat that uh, I would like to utilize for either mounting cameras or even mounting some... Uh, nicer trolling materials such as like a yak attack ar tube or a yak attack um zuka tube um, i have a rail blazer um i think this is an older one i'm not sure if they've updated it since then it's not my favorite um the concept is nice but i'll show you after i uh kind of go through the um install of the panfish how much um just that the locking system on the yak attack items is just next level i think comparatively um i have a ram tube i really love that thing it's just beefy and it works and then i got another ram set up on my uh, garmin and so uh, let me clean up the kayak and uh, we'll get to playing around all right, so I got the kayak kind of cleaned up. Um, what I'm looking to do is try to see if I can reach this space here um, to kind of decide where I want that uh, mighty mount to go. So the only access part that I see is from the front here, and I don't know if my arm's gonna be long enough to reach from there to there without hitting anything structural. There are some you know, parts of the kayak that do come down. Um, I also have a way that I've kind of beefed it up a little bit. Um, I don't know if a lot of other people do this, um, but I noticed that the Hobie compass, especially when I stood up, was a little, uh, a little bendy, like the floor bends a little bit. And to fix that, I got these uh, yoga blocks at Walmart. And I shove them in there and it just adds a layer of uh, rigidity. Um, they're the perfect size to just fit under there, especially on the sides or under the seat. And uh, they bend just enough that I don't think it would hurt the kayak at all as it expands or contracts due to the temperature or when you stand on it. Um, but it definitely adds a little bit of uh, rigidity to it. Kobe kind of did some stuff like that with, uh, you know, the styrofoam they put in there or whatever, but it's not anywhere near as dense or as beefy as these blocks, which I believe are a closed cell foam, so they don't suck up any water. Um, I got these ones at Walmart. I'm sure they got them on Amazon, but uh, they're super dense, don't suck up any water. And this thing has been in my kayak since 2019 now and it's you know not moldy or anything just a little a little wet a little gross but uh nothing crazy so if i was gonna get all the way over there i would have to reach way too far back there i think without having to like get on the ground and uh get under the kayak so we might need to rethink how we're gonna mount that they don't have uh, self-tapping screws they are bolts so um, I wanted to keep the seat on here just so I can see like, you know, where is this gonna hit or not? But now that I'm looking at it, we might need to uh, remove that seat, put the kayak on the ground so I can see if I can get up in there.
All right, so we have the mount. Um, it's covered in silicone, pretty, pretty uh, unattractive right now, but um, we are going to check out this mount once I find out uh, where I threw all the pieces. All right, so this is what I'm thinking as one of the uh, mounts for the camera. Basically, this is going to go in here, and then this locks down. When you click here, this wiggles, and you can move it without unlocking it. Then if you wanted to remove it, there's another trigger inside. Pop it off, then it's good to go. Pop it on, good to go. Um, so we'll you know, have some fun with that, play around with it, and uh, see where it goes. So I'm gonna work on getting this thing uh, rigged back up, and uh, then we can play around with how we're gonna uh, position the cameras. All right, so yesterday we installed a Yak Attack Mighty Mount um, to use with a uh, Panfish camera mount. I installed a modified Yak Attack uh, normal camera mount and uh, kind of rearranged some things. So today we have two um, Zuka 2 rod holders as well as some uh, Hobie uh, map pockets. These, I believe. All right, so we got the two uh, rods on here, rod holders on here now. Um, we got this one set up for a spinning rod. Um, you can see that it's got this little slot here where the spinning rod just goes in there and then the reel can even like click in there. Um, and then on the other side, I have it set up for a, a bait caster. Um, if I wanted to swap any of those out, I just kind of uh, either turn it and um, adjust the uh, positioning of this, move this forward or, um, you know, just flip it around the other way. So it's pretty uh, pretty cool. You can kind of pick and choose how you want to do it. Um, I always ran my, um, you know, reels kind of pointed forward um, because I didn't want the tension um, pulling this way, pulling it out of there. Um, but now with the locking system, um, I may, you know, rethink how I'm gonna approach that. Now, if I was going to do that, I think I'd actually want the spinning side on that side because the slot to lock in is kind of right there, so it just pull out. But we'll see. We'll play with it. I'm going to take a look at mounting the uh, map pockets next, um, so that'll be the next project. All right, so I actually have the uh, camera mounted in the rod holder. Um, I just have the selfie mount just sitting right there. Um, I was going to take it apart and put it on the mount, but this actually works surprisingly well, um, especially for this little work area we're working with. Um, so we're going to keep it like that for now. What I have is the Hobie mat pocket kit. Um, it comes with screws and a gasket, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that. Um, these are about 20 bucks. Or so there's a couple different styles depending on if you get one from uh, the older style or the newer style I believe this is the newer one, but someone you know, let me know if I'm wrong um, It's got kind of like this hex pattern. So basically this can just go anywhere right here um, most people mount them underneath the uh, um, Track system there's kind of like these little divots here and I'm almost wondering if this is like where it's supposed to be mounted because that matches up perfectly um, I have a 2019 it did not come with that if that's the case so I'm just gonna follow that because that looks perfectly level I'm gonna start with one though and we'll check it out um, so for installing this um, you're gonna want to take off these uh, you know zip ties I'm just gonna use my uh, fishing pliers that I already have right there. Okay, um, so the gasket will now be able to come off, but we're gonna keep it on there because we're gonna keep that screw, the two screws in there. Um, so I'm gonna drill one of these in about halfway with the uh, screwdriver, I mean with the drill. I'm not giving it too much power um, just to get it started and then I'll switch over to the uh, Phillips to finish it up. Okay, so 
that one looks good. Um, I gotta say, that is like perfectly level. Those, those have to be there for that. I don't know why they would put that in the mold, but, and not just, you know, come with them in the factory, but I, I, I'm just gonna use those holes that are already there. Okay. So we got the first two in there, about, you know, halfway. And then now we'll just finish it off. These are self-tapping. They got the little gasket. Shouldn't let any water intrude in there. But it's always scary drilling into a uh, kayak. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't worry though. Drilling into a kayak gets much easier after you drill into a boat. When I was installing some rod holders on my boat. I thought I was going to lose it like you're drilling through inches and inches of fiberglass that if you mess something up it'll be a big deal rather than just you know a kayak size deal so one thing i'm noticing is that the gasket needs to match up perfectly i want to make sure it does before i drill okay Same thing, pressure, drill slow, get it started, stop it, I'll go to the next one, we'll just go down the line, finish it off with the drill, almost wish the map pockets were slightly longer, but we can't complain too much, they're not too expensive, surprisingly. I was looking at that Hobie front hatch and they wanted a hundred, I mean a square hatch, and it was like $170. And I was like, that's a little steep for a hatch. You can get a, a hatch for a, a boat that's, you know, built to be pressurized or have plumbing or, you know, be a live well, and it'll be cheaper than that. So it's just hard to spend that kind of money on kayak stuff once you compare it to you know actual marine hardware which don't get me wrong I know kayaks are real marine hardware too just you know it's a little different you're not 40 miles offshore in a kayak I mean you might be I don't know So uh, first pocket's in there, it looks pretty pretty all right. Um, a little looser than I thought it would be right there. But um, we can also drill a hole um, right here and uh, run you know, our uh, through hole for the uh, fish finder. Um, I haven't done that yet. I just like to uh, kind of have it so I can uh, remove it um, whenever I need. So um, I'm gonna do the other side now and uh, then we'll uh, take a look at both of them. Map pocket wise these things came out pretty awesome um, I like them a lot so far we'll see how they do just something a little extra to uh, kind of put some stuff in let's see what I got in here I can shove in there real quick we got some gulp we got some fish grips Got some Procure, shouldn't have touched that. Now my hand's covered in gross old Procure. Um. All right, just opened up uh, another uh, articulating camera mount. Um, this one doesn't have that uh, gear track locking system. I think it's called lock and load, I'm not sure though. Um, but this one is more of a basic one, um, and it also has a ram ball mount. So I can attach that to uh, the ram tube. I can attach the ram tube to that. Lots of uh, options now. So we'll uh, see how it turns out with some footage. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Is that the rule? <laughs> That's a good one. I never thought of that. Alright, so we're testing out the new rod holders and uh, they appear to be working good. Got this one kind of in an upright position. Um, got this one set to baitcaster mode and it is pulling a rattle trap. <sighs> Just cruising along. So, um, all in all, I think they're a great purchase and uh, I'm super excited to uh, try them out more.